Well, this stretch of downtown really only spans about four blocks, but its history is rooted deep in this city. When you get a little bit wider perspective here, you're able to actually see some of these awesome buildings being transformed and really coming to life. And its next chapter has its roots and developers chomping at the bit. It stands out like a Lionel Richie song. There is a lot of history here. For downtown's West 4th Street, a renaissance. You know, you look at some of the old buildings and some of the names on the buildings and you can see that they were something at one time. I mean, Doug Sawan and his wife retired and traded the life of the suburbs for an urban apartment. I didn't want to take my time putting it into a house. I wanted to take my time putting it into something that we know we would enjoy. Driving down West 4th, developments will hit you wherever you look. I've got goosebumps talking about it. It's exciting. Cranes ready for the next high rise. Breweries like Rebel Metal and Listerman set to open soon. We've got a tremendous amount of uh, uh, advantage, so to speak, with Paul Brown, uh, the banks, uh, the convention center, the hotels, all the residences in, in this area. The Loring Group, along with other developers, are pumping in more than half a billion dollars into the area. That is more than any other corridor within our downtown over the Rhine core. The finishing touch in opportunity to seal the historic district's identity. Over the Rhine is a tremendous success, but that we can have other corridors in our city that people are proud to be a part of, that people are excited to live in for the different amenities. They're all along the river. I mean, there are things happening down here, and we're just really excited about it. And during that story, you heard two breweries. Rebel Metal is set to open in February. As for Listerman, they're set to open later next year. For now, reporting live in downtown, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.